Hello, I'm New Booger, and welcome to New Booger Presents Tips for New Players Playing Dungeons and Dragons. Let's get into this. So you're new to D&D. You want to learn how to play. You heard all the rave from all these people talking about how great D&D is and how expansive it can be. You have a DM who wants to have you in their game. I have some tips for you as you're just starting out. And this will help you understand and get a better grasp of Dungeons and Dragons. Backstory is important for Dungeons and Dragons. And the reason that it's important is it helps you get into the game. When I say create a backstory, I don't mean create a three-part chapter book or just this massive, huge backstory. It can be something as simple as three paragraphs, four paragraphs, a page, two pages. It can be whatever you want, and what it does is it helps you as a player get into your character, and it helps your dungeon master as a dungeon master to add your character to his world and make it expansive and make you feel as though as you are a part of it. It's great, it's fun, and you get to experiment. This one's kind of simple. Read the PHB. When it comes to Dungeons and Dragons, you need to understand the rules. Now, don't get me wrong, as a dungeon master myself, I tend to bend the rules, I tend to create my own little scenarios and adjust to the reality of what the game is. When you go through and you read the rules, you need to understand the basics of Dungeons and Dragons. You need to understand how to create a character, you need to understand the mechanics about it, you need to understand concentration checks for wizards if you decide to be a wizard, uh, the features. Read the PHB understand it to the best of your abilities and it will help you as a player get into the game the way it should be. Create a character that fits your backstory is important. You've created this backstory, you have this lavish plan and you know what you want, but you created a sorcerer instead of a fighter like your backstory says. The important thing is, is when you're going through and you're creating the character, you want it to be a part of that backstory that you just created. Again, it helps your dungeon master. Your dungeon master is going to be confused if you go mop to him and say, I decided to be a wizard, but you created a backstory for a fighter. Create the character that fits the backstory. It will help you immerse yourself into the world that your dungeon master has created because you have already a set pre-backstory and you're ready to go and you're ready to fight all the big bad monsters that come your way. Becoming your character is crucial to Dungeons and Dragons. You can go ahead and start Dungeons and Dragons and go into it as you're playing World of Warcraft. It just doesn't fit the world of RP. The point of being a part of Dungeons and Dragons is to lose yourself in the character that you've created and the characters around you. Engaging NPCs, engaging big bad monsters, creating your own dialogue. It's imperative that you get into your character. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go full bore into it and realize that you are a human being in the real world. The more that you can immerse yourself, the more that you can act as that character, the more that you make the choices by your character standards instead of the PC standards is important. Because as your character, your character might not have a piece of information about another PC or about an NPC. And you need to act upon what your character knows and how your character's actions would go. Is your character this big buff barbarian that smashes anything that comes up in his path and is not willing to negotiate? That's your character. You need to play the character that you've written in your backstory and how you feel as though it's your character would react to the situation, not the player. Stick by the character. Respecting the other PCs and DM is important in your game. You cannot have a game where you do not respect each other and you do not appreciate each other. It is important for you to respect all the people that are sitting at that table. This world is not just about you. It's about your dungeon master who just created this massive world for you all to play in. It's about the other PCs experiencing all the experiences that are around them and seeing the sights that they want to see. This game is not just about you, it's about everyone at the table and it's important for you to respect them. Sure, you don't might not agree with a decision that one of the characters made because their player, their character would make that decision. 
respect that because you might make a decision that they don't agree with because your character would do so. Your dungeon master is there to take a world and expand it for you and bring it to your imagination so you can imagine what's happening. Disrespecting him or her is not the way to go about it. That ends in TPKs because someone's upset. Let's not do that. The point of Dungeons and Dragons is that we all get together, we all have a blast, and we all become different people. That is the point, and that's where we should keep it. Dungeons and Dragons is a very fun game to play, and you should respect everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all found it insightful. Uh, if you could, please give it a like if you did enjoy it. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my content, if you could, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get alerts. Comment down in the, in the comments. Let me know if there's any tips that you would like as a player or as a dungeon master or anything D&D that would be insightful for you and helpful. I'd be happy to make that video. Um, I hope the information that I provided to you will help you in your upcoming game. And I hope you all have fun. And I hope to see you all in the next video.